Words appear. Whose blind life is it anyway? Presents. In association with Sterling Creation. Dining with Donna. Sponsored by VIP Tech. Hello, hello, hello. It's Donna J. Jodhan with your Dining with Donna show and I'm back. Yes, indeed, I'm back after a break of two months and I want to thank my good friend Victor Guvia for having given me this opportunity to have this short break. I was on a break doing other things, taking a course, a very interesting course I took at the Carroll Center. Um, which is a very prestigious uh, institution in the United States. It's located in Boston, Massachusetts. And so I felt I needed to take this very important break so that I could refresh myself, get started all over again. And yes, indeed, I'm back. I want to thank all those who, during my break, took the time to write to me, took the time to email me, took the time to contact me, reach out to me and tell me how much they are enjoying my show, as much as I am enjoying bringing it to you. And I want to thank my dear friend Victor Guvia for being so patient with me. Thank you, Victor. And it is the merry month of June, or I like to say the jolly month of June. So. How has everyone been? How is everyone doing this month? I'm looking forward to the summer. I really am. I really, really am. Because I like summer. I don't really care for the humidity, however. But, you know, you can't have everything. The spring was a mixed bag of, I don't know, funny weather. You know, cold one day, warm the other day. But hopefully, we are back with nice, nice warm weather. So, what do I have in store for us today? Well, I think June is the month for desserts. And for this month, or for this first week of June, my dessert is apricot double chip cake. Again, apricot double chip cake and here are the implements that you will need in order to carry out this recipe okay here goes measuring cups which i think every kitchen needs must have measuring cups at your fingertips okay a sharp kitchen kitchen knife for cutting a sharp kitchen knife for cutting an implement for spreading, I like to call it a paste, sp sp sorry, pastry spreader or a, you know, normal spreader. It could be plastic, it could be stainless steel, it could be anything that, you know, you want it to be. And you can find this in any home hardware store or in any kitchen store. A nine inch square baking pan, <clears throat> excuse me, a toothpick or a skewer, and my favorite, I always say to everyone, you should have a roll of paper towels at your fingertips whenever you are about to cook or bake or do anything in your kitchen. It really, really helps. The other thing I really want to tell you is that it really helps to organize yourself when uh, before you start baking or cooking. It saves a lot of time so you don't have to go around scurrying looking for things. And this is why I have all my implements set out before I do anything. All right then, so the next thing we are going to go to is our ingredients. Are we ready? Okay. Two cups of apricot preserve or jam. 
two cups of apricot preserve or jam. One half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and you need to divide these into two equal parts. One half cup of white chocolate chips and you got to divide these as well, okay? So you have two types of chocolate chips. You have the semi-sweet chocolate chips and you have the white chocolate chips. Divide these into two equal parts. So you need a half cup of each, okay? One package and 50, about 15 ounces of yellow cake mix. Again, one package, about 15 ounces of yellow cake mix. One stick of butter cut into thin slices and one third cup of water. All right, we are now ready to bake. Ready to bake? Okay, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Spray your nine inch square baking pan with some cooking spray so that things don't stick in your pan. Spread the pretty Sorry, spread the preserves in your pan, spread it out equally, and then sprinkle your chocolate, um, you know, mixes over this. Now remember, you have just divided your chocolate mixes, right? Your cho white chocolate chips and your semi-sweet chocolate chips. So you take one part of each and spread it, okay? And you then top with your cake mix spreading evenly and top this after you've done that top this with butter spreading evenly and do your best to cover the cake mix as much as possible so you take your butter you know after you've cut it into strips spread it over your cake mix spread it as evenly as you can to make sure that your cake mix is covered Drizzle the water over the top and then you sprinkle with the remaining semi-sweet chocolate and your white chocolate, okay? So I hope you've gotten that correctly. And you bake this for 50 to 55 minutes and presto! You can also test this by taking your skewer or your toothpick and stick it into the middle of your cake make sure it comes out clean and then you know that your cake is baked and then you cool this for 15 minutes before you serve this makes about nine servings okay Hope you enjoyed this because I've tried this. I tried it last summer and I'm going to try it again this summer. And hopefully it will come out terrific. I hope you enjoy it. So now let's go um, to our next um, segment of the show. And we are going to have a bonus recipe for you. I like to give bonus recipes. Um, I think it, it really helps, you know, so you have your cake and now I'm going to give you something a little different. Mango duck breast. Are you ready for this? Okay, you need two boneless and skinless duck breasts. One large mango peeled and cubed. You need cup of chicken broth, okay, one tablespoon of finely grated ginger, one tablespoon of minced hot pepper, one tablespoon of minced 
shallots okay some people don't like shallots I don't mind it but I think this recipe calls for that place all of your ingredients into a slow cooker cover okay um, it's a four um, sorry you place it into a four four quart cooker cover cook for four hours on low or if you are in a hurry you can cook it on high for two hours how does that sound okay slow I want you to take note of this slow cooked mango mango soften and you know they cook in their own um, water or their own sauce okay so if you slow cook this your mango flavor will come out more it'll, it'll be much better if you cook it on slow okay um you can serve this recipe with some steamed vegetables okay it, it's a good winter recipe i know that we are in the month a summer month in the month of June and it doesn't hurt to start storing your winter recipes okay um, you can store this recipe away for the winter and it makes four servings okay if you wanted not to use the fresh mango you can, and sometimes it's difficult to get this mango in the winter you can use frozen mango as well all right okay so that is your bonus recipe and now on to the third segment of my dining with donna show for week one of june let's go over here and i'm going to give you some tips for your kitchen and it's the cleanup for when you spill drops or anything in your kitchen okay if you're dealing with your dishwasher here's what you do fill your dishwasher with all of your glasses and porcelain okay that's the first thing you do do not ever put any silver or aluminum with your china or glasses if you do that you will have a mess okay the next thing you do is you have a bowl of water and then you pour some bleach into this bowl of water okay put this bowl in the bottom of your dishwasher okay it's important to know to know that you do not let this bowl dry out so place this bowl at the bottom of your dishwasher okay it, that's very very important to know okay and then you do a second cycle and fill the bowl this time with vinegar okay and let the dishwasher go through its second cycle so it may sound a little confusing to you the first thing you do after you fill your dishwasher with your china your porcelain and your glasses put a bowl of water and you know you add some bleach add it to the bottom to the bowl put the bowl at the bottom of your dishwasher let it go through its first cycle but don't let the bowl dry out okay and the second time you run a second cycle and this time you add vinegar instead of bleach and place the bowl at the bottom of your dishwasher again do not let this dry out okay so you have two cycles and it's important to know do not put your silvers or anything aluminum in your dishwasher when you do your porcelain your china or your glasses okay this will remove all the film 
that has collected in your dishwasher or in your glasses. All right, very important. Here's my second tip for this week. All right. About clogged drains. All right. When a drain, a clog, sorry, when a drain is clogged, here's what you do, okay? When pour a cup of baking soda, okay, and vinegar, one cup each into your drain. And normally your drain is often clogged with grease. So you gotta make sure you do this mixture correctly. Okay? So you pour a cup of salt, I'm sorry, a cup of salt and a cup of baking soda down your drain, right? The grease will usually dissolve immediately and this is how you unclog your drain. This is it for me for this week, folks. I want to thank you very, very much for tuning in. I also want to invite you to write to me at Ask Donna on your blind life at gmail.com. Okay? Ask Donna. Oh boy, I'm getting a bit of a uh, glitch here. I'm not sure of my own email address. Isn't this awful? All right. Ask Donna at uh, Ask Donna on your blind life at gmail.com. Okay? This is it for me for this week. Thank you very, very much for tuning in, everybody. I much appreciate it. Thank you, Victor. And I will talk to you next week. Take care now. I'm you can catch Dining with Donna Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway?